Hi, I'm Andrew, and today I wanted to give you my review of the original Prusa i3 MK2S. So this is my review of the original Prusa i3 MK2S. You see a lot of clones out there, a lot of clone printers that say they're i3 or Prusa. This is the original. This is the one that everybody's cloning. This printer has a 250 by 210 by 200 millimeter build space. It's got a heated bed surface with a PEI sheet surface on it. It's got a genuine E3D V6 full metal hot end. It's all open source. You can run it off the SD card or USB. Uh, it's got full power or silent mode. Silent mode definitely makes a difference, makes it quieter. Built-in XYZ calibration. Automatic mesh bed leveling. Comes with the Prusa Edition slicer or Slice3R software, which is loaded with profiles for all kinds of filaments. Mine is the MK2S. I actually originally ordered the MK2 back in, I believe, the beginning of February. Uh, when they shipped to me, shipped it to me at the end of March. It was the MK2S upgraded already. Uh, has better Y axis bearings, rods, and mounts. Better pin to probe mount. Uh, improved cable strain relief. Better electronics covers. And I think there's a couple other little things that they added. But the MK2S is the most recent version. I assembled the kit in about a half a day. Uh, it's not a hard build. Um, if you don't know how to tinker or have a little bit of mechanical knowledge yourself, it might be a little difficult. Um, I thought it was pretty easy, but I'm very mechanical. A um, couple of things like I put it together, I put the base together, and then um, I had to tweak it to make sure the bed slid from front to back, nice and smooth. Um, so if you, if you don't like to tinker, if you're not very mechanical, you might want to order the pre-built system. The, um, the kit was $6.99 plus about $80 shipping to get to me in the U.S. It comes from the Czech Republic. Uh, the pre-built is an extra 200 bucks, uh, but they build it, they calibrate it, it's ready to go. So like I said, if you don't want to tinker, um, if you're not good with building stuff, you can get the pre-assembled uh, pre printer and be ready to print. Uh, once I assembled the kit, I ran all the calibrations, they worked out perfectly the first time. Um, then you print a calibration G-code and you adjust the live Z to get that uh, laying on that first layer just right. And then once that's done, it's printing away. Uh, I print with this machine non-stop I've been, since the end of March. Uh, it runs almost all the time, um, and it just works. Using the Prusa Edition Slicer software, uh, their profiles, I hardly have to tinker with the profiles. I do make a little changes myself, but for the most part, you can just put your, put your STL file in the software, pick one of their preloaded uh, profiles for PLA, for Flex, for ABS, for PEGI, and it just works. Um, I added the, L, uh, the LED brackets to the top. Uh, the only thing I didn't like, I didn't like the spool holder the way it was, so I added this uh, heavier duty spool holder that the spool just slides on. I don't have to mess with it. Um, I keep the LCD disconnected and put it to the side. So I'm not sure what happened with the second half of my video, so I'm just going to continue on audio here. Um, as I said, I keep my LCD to the side just to make space for my desk. I like to have stuff in front of it. Uh, the way I have my desk set up, it works out well for me. Um, I also run the Prusa i3 off a Raspberry Pi with OctoPi. Um, and I have a camera set up attached to the bed. Uh, I use that so I can monitor my prints when I'm elsewhere and also record time lapse. Uh, time lapse is good just to show off some cool prints, but also uh, occasionally if you do have a failure, you can go back and look and see what might have happened. So. With very little upgrades, um, the printer works excellent. Uh, it just works. I'm so happy with it. Uh, I put my STLs in the file, create my G-code with their built-in profiles, and they print excellent. The quality, the detail, everything is just great. Um, I would say, and a lot of people agree, that this is probably the best printer for under $1,000. Uh, if you get it either way as a kit or a complete unit, uh, you won't be disappointed. Um, I've been able to print uh, ABS, PETG, PLA, uh, Flex right out of the box. 
haven't had to do any, you know, make any changes for that. Um, my only uh, love hate thing with this printer is the PEI sheet. The PEI sheet actually sticks really well, um, works excellent for PLA. Um, I print a lot of PETG, and PETG fuses to the PEI. Uh, after ruining my first PEI, I was given a trick of wiping down the PEI sheet with Windex, and it does help the PETG to not stick as bad, uh, but I still have damaged my second PEI sheet pulling the PETG off. Um, so other than that, I mean, like I said, nothing comes off the PETG, I mean, uh, the PEI sheet. I don't have any prints come loose. Uh, it's just getting them off afterwards. Uh, if I could, if I could recommend any change or add-on for this printer, uh, removable bed, or removable, you know, some way to remove it to remove the prints or something would be great. Um, but like I said, um, also like if you don't like to tinker, if you don't want to spend all your time adjusting and fine-tuning, uh, this is the printer for you. Uh, with the auto bed leveling, I don't have to level the bed every time. Uh, some of my cheaper printers, you know, I have to manually level the bed constantly. Not a big deal, but uh, the Prusa, you can just print. It does the auto mesh bed leveling automatically. Uh, it'll take in consideration if the bed skewed or got low spots in it or whatever. It takes into consideration and prints just fine. Um, and uh, like I said, probably the best printer for under $1,000. Can't go wrong. And you won't be disappointed. So that's my quick review of the MK2S. It was kind of short, but I just wanted to put it out there that um, how great the machine works. And I've recommended it to a lot of people and nobody's been disappointed yet. So if you liked the video, if you liked the review, uh, please hit subscribe. Uh, hit the bell icon to be notified of when I put any more videos out, more content. I do a lot of content uh, on my printed builds, like a hand Han Solo blaster. I've done the Hellboy gun, um, done some other things. I got some more stuff coming. I'm um, going to review my other printers yet uh, and any other interesting things I get. And if you want to support the channel, uh, I have a Patreon account set up. Link is below. Always appreciate that. And, uh, you know, give it a thumbs up if you really enjoyed it. And you have a wonderful day.